So, we're making the quick video. Uh, customer complaint was that the vehicle does not start, it cranks, but no start. I removed this this jumper I already found the issue okay at the moment we have power at the beginning we didn't but pay attention to that now that we have power Let's see if it starts on her on its own. As you can see, in a moment, it's starting. A while ago, it wasn't functioning by itself. So I'm going to test and see where Terminal 50 is coming from. Because that's our issue. Or part of the fuse box right up. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. So pin one, which is uh, this red with green, that comes from our relay. I don't know if one of these, I gotta find out where it's located, but you can see it does not light up. Uh, I'm marking these and see if this makes it wake up, which it doesn't. But here we have a jumper. I'll we'll grab this guy, go here, and you can see that lights up. The vehicle starts. I remove that. Take this off. To connect this to your monitor it. I get nothing. The fault is the relay but we also have to monitor what does the relay needs to function which the junction box sends ground on the red the red wire so we have to make sure that we have everything needs to actually work if not we're not getting nowhere so we finally found what's wrong with this car. That might be a reason why. The water. Water is corrosion. And there you go. Let me zoom you guys in. Okay. We gotta pay attention to the right, to the left, the bottom pin on the third side which right there the terminal came off I don't know if you guys are going to hate me but hold on there you go I don't know how well you guys could see that but there's a missing terminal missing pin on the fuse box so I'm gonna remove the fuse box and see if uh, it is damaged and find out why uh, we have this water issue water intrusion so on that Mini Cooper uh, we're gonna get a new because this one have seen better days see right there where the corrosion uh, was uh, affected and you can see that pin that was broken we got a new box uh, 
Not only that, but after we received it, because it took a very long time, uh, we ended up getting an issue with the uh, full wheel module. Uh, and when the battle went dead, and it caused some issues. So I was able to uh, pretty much get another one because not only was the battery completely dead, but I also noticed a issue uh, with corrosion. So that why it got, it got replaced with a donor one. We were able to uh, program it and get it ready to go for the customer. So that's a plus. But besides that, that's a wrap for that vehicle. Uh, they did brought it afterwards because it had an issue with a misfire. We were able to uh, see the issue and contain it. Uh, the vehicle runs fine. Haven't had no issues. So thank you guys for watching.